In example six, uh, solving an equation that has absolute value on both sides, it's not too different from what we did in example four. Um, we are going to have our two different equations. Uh, one is going to be 2r minus 4 equals, you take the negative of that whole thing. The other one is you're going to have it the positive. Okay, so you take the first part, get rid of the uh, absolute values, and set them equal to the second part, the negative and the positive. All right? And now we're just going to solve. I want to rewrite this. I want you guys to be able to see what happens with the negative in front of parentheses. This negative outside of the parentheses is going to make everything inside the opposite sign. And since both are positive, they're all going to become negative now. If it was negative 10, it would become a positive 10. So now we have our equation here. Let's join together our like variables um, by adding 2r on both sides, which will give you 4r minus 4 equals a negative 10. Now I'm going to add 4 on both sides and get 4r equals negative 6, okay, a negative 10 plus 4, or you can think of it as 10 minus 4, which is 6, but because a 10 is negative, your answer will be negative because that was bigger. Now we're going to divide by 4, and r is going to equal negative 3 halves. I have to check this though to see that it's a real solution and not just an extraneous solution. Okay, um, I need to move that downward. So we're going to check. Let's plug in this into the original equation. looks like a lot. <laughs> okay, so we've got 2 times a negative 3 over 2, which is negative 6 over 2. Negative 6 over 2 equals negative 3. Same thing right there. So the absolute value of negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7 equals the absolute value of negative 3 plus 10, which is 7. Absolute value of 7 is 7. Absolute value of 7 is 7. I don't know if you can see all the way down that far. Yes, you can. 7 equals 7. So yeah, this is good. That is a good answer. Now let's do the next one. If I subtract 2r on both sides, what just happened? I eliminated both of all the r's. And so that leaves me with negative 4 equals 10. Is that true? Well, obviously not. So there is no other solution there. We're done. It's only this one. Yay!